It's been almost three weeks since Governor Ralph Northam issued a stay at home order in Virginia. That was back on March 30th, and today we're looking at trends and numbers since that date. And unfortunately, Virginia Department of Health reporting the largest day over day increase of new coronavirus cases, adding 600 and new 602 new patients to that growing tally. And until the number of cases starts to decrease day over day, this curve will not flatten across the Commonwealth, where there's now a total of nearly 7,500 hundred confirmed cases of COVID-19. Let's take a look at the local breakdown. Virginia Beach in the blue here continues to have the worst outbreak in all of Hampton Roads with 265 cases. Now I'm going to highlight two local areas, one to watch with concern and another to watch with cautious optimism. We'll start with Isle of Wight, which inexplicably almost doubled its cases earlier this week with this large spike here. It now has 69 confirmed cases of COVID-19. That'll be one area to watch over the weekend to see if there's uh, anything to that large spike. And now some good news. This is the fifth straight day with no new cases for Williamsburg. So at least in that city, it appears the curve is starting to flatten. And finally, hospitals across the Commonwealth seem to be in good shape with supplies for now. Only 22% of the state's ventilator supply is in use. And while that's more than anyone would like to see, it also means that there's more than 2,200 available ventilators as of today, should we ever need it. In the studio, Dane Kennedy, 13 News Now.